Hello everybody and welcome to Hydraulic Master once again. Today I'd like to show you some examples of the various switches and controllers that we can, we can sell to you. Um, here we have uh, basically a, a, a small setup, it's a single valve system just for demonstration purposes and I'll show you each one of these controllers uh, and what they do. Also all of these can be provided for a 6 valve or a 10 valve or an 8 valve system, whatever you have. And each of the valves can actually have a separate controller. You just need to let us know what you need and we can prepare a completely bespoke setup for you. Equally they can be 12 or 24 volts and the cable lengths for each one can also vary as well if you need that because uh, depending on what you're trying to operate, and I'm speaking very generally here because everyone's requirements are different, you can have a different cable length to, from your controller to your piece of equipment. So just quickly run through what we have and then I'm going to turn the pump on and it'll be a bit noisy but just for now the first one we have is a, a two direction switch. This is sprung loaded and it will take you back to the center each time as soon as you let go. Okay. The next one, similar looking switch, but this time it's not sprung loaded. So it will stay in fixed position, which certainly there are applications where this can be used for you. Just put it where you want it and it will just continue and, and do its job. And here we have a um, a twist switch, twist controller, with uh, reverse and forward. And again, that will stay in position when you put it in the right position that, that you need. This is a, uh, a, single, uh, a, right way, a single controller here. One direction. Okay, so this, it's pretty much like a start and stop, but again, it remains in position where you put it. And then finally, for today's demonstration, this is a forward and back joystick, and this is really for marine applications. It's IP67, um, so obviously waterproof uh, and, and suitable for use at sea, and this is also a very, very popular product. So, right, hopefully that's useful for you. Uh, as I said, I'm going to turn the, the pump on, and I'm going to come back, and I'm going to demonstrate each of these for you one at a time, but obviously it'll be a bit louder. So, see you in a moment. So, here we go with the first demonstration. You see I've just plugged this in, hooked it up to our system. Something that's worth mentioning, uh, just on the back of the switch, all the switches are the same, but I'll show you on each one, is when you first turn it on, uh, or when you connect it, the switches should be in a neutral position. And you'll see a small green light at the back, that means it's ready to go, everything's fine, and it will work. When you start to move the switch, which I'll just quickly show you now, you'll see that changes to a blue LED, that's in both directions, which means the power is in use and the switch is functioning correctly. If when you connect it, if that little light is red, there's something wrong, it's normally that the switch is not in a neutral position, so it's very easy to fix. You turn the power off, you put it in neutral, you turn it back on again. So that's just the back of the switch, hopefully that's helpful for you. We turn it around to the front. So this particular switch is just a forward and back, it's very simple, and we can control the power, you can see as I'm pushing it out there, the lever's coming down and the motor's beginning to spin. And of course, I'm letting go. This one doesn't go back to neutral by itself, and that will just go on all day as long as the, uh, as long as the power's there. Okay? And of course, same in the opposite direction. Very sensitive. You can see I'm just moving it with my finger there. And remember, we could have a great big machine at the end of this, and I'm just moving the whole thing with one finger. Now you can see the motor going in the opposite direction. Convert that back to neutral. So I'm going to move on to the second switch. Of course, disconnecting my power. And to unplug it, so we just squeeze it together there. Very simple uh, push switches. And move on to the next one. No oh, story, the power is still off. I'm just going to connect it out. Oh, that's my fault. It's designed, of course, so you can't do it wrong, which is what I tried to do there. I'm going to turn my power on. And here, we have a green light, which is a good sign, as I said before. So with the green light, it means the switch is, is working properly, it's connected properly, and it should work. Similar to before, moving the switch. The difference is, this time, when I let go, the switch is sprung loaded, it will always revert back to neutral. So you can see with the, the lever there and the motor, okay, again, I've got control of the power, but I have to keep my finger on it. And of course, in the opposite direction. Okay. There we go. Right, 
Next one, power off. Disconnect and squeeze in the two little points there if I can. There we go. Next one, and this is a, a twist switch. They're on these, as I said before. Make sure you've got that in neutral position first. Our power is off. I'm just going to push those in again, as always, upside down. Push that in. I'm going to put my power back on. We've got a green light, that's a good sign. And this one is uh, two directions, so you'll see as we slowly, I'm turning to the left now. So you'll see very, you know, I'm just on one at the moment, you'll see the motor's moving very slowly and the lever's in a, a very a slightly upright position. As I ramp up the, the power, you can see the motor's getting faster and the levers, if it was a manual operation, it's going higher. You can see that it's spinning quite fast. Equally, we've got full control of this. Now you'll know applications where you can use this better than I will, to be honest. So um, we'll go the opposite direction, exactly the same, complete control, but in reverse. Okay, back to neutral. Power off before we disconnect. Power off. Squeeze in and disconnect. There we go. Number four. Power still off. And reconnecting. Power back on. Right, this is great. This is what I wanted to show you. So you can see there we have a red light. And the fact we've got the red light, it means I've not done something correctly. And if we look, what is it? The switch is not in the neutral or the zero position. I'll turn the power off. I'm going to disconnect. Okay. I'm going to put the switch into zero. I'll reconnect this. Put the power on. And this time, we have a green light, okay? So the green light is obviously what we should have. And now we are um, exactly where we should be. Uh, let's have a look. Yep, yeah, zero there. As we turn this, you'll see the lever's moving, the motor's moving very, very gently. And then I ramp up the power. Now this is single direction, this one, yeah? So obviously we only have a, a forward direction. Clearly, if you want to go in the other way, you can just switch the wires around. Um, but if you need it to go both ways, you need our two directional switch, which I showed you a moment ago. Okay? And then I'm going to show you the final one. Of course, power off. Disconnect. And the final one, this is really specifically for, um, for marine applications, but clearly you can use it for anything. Plug that in. There we go. And switch the power on. And again, exactly what we should see. The little green light, that's a good sign. And this is just a simple forward and back, but we obviously can control power, so this should be great on your speedboat at the weekends, if you can imagine that. So There we go, and you can see that lever's moving now. And the motor, let's move the cable out of the way a little bit so you can see better. So, lever up, and the motor, of course, when I let go, it stops as you would expect, and the opposite direction. Okay, so hopefully that's given you a really good idea. Um, just to close on that, of course, if you need any of these items, uh, for whatever equipment you've got, or to be honest, even if you don't know what you need, Please get in touch with us. We can recommend different solutions, different price ranges, and we can configure whatever you need. You know, you just need to give us your problem. We'll find a solution for you. I hope that's been helpful. As always, you can find us at hydraulic-master.com or you can drop us an email at shop at hydraulic-master.com. Thanks very much and have a great day.